The largest market economies in the world are frequently turned towards green energy and other industries as well. Just a week ago, U.S. President Barack Obama salvaged the ambitious goal of achieving by the year 2035 80% of America's electricity coming from green energy sources. The European Union, now the global leader in the development and application of renewable energy, aims to achieve by the year 2020 20% of the renewable energy being produced from renewable fuels. So now is time to get aboard. Now is time to harness the market-based opportunities and synergies that exist. The Dominican Republic is taking the next step. We are moving forward. I would like to take advantage of this occasion today, the 2011 Middle East Assembly of the Northern Summit, to make an announcement. Thanks to the general support of the government of Germany, the Dominican Republic will join forces with experts and scientists for McKinsey and cooperation, the Coalition for Early Progress Nations, and local universities. Together, we will work to improve and sustain our economic growth and convert the Dominican Republic into a model for building itself. We will develop a roadmap for achieving green growth. We will develop what will be more formally referred to as one of the world's first climate compatible economic development plans, which we plan to formally launch at the Rio 20 year anniversary summit to be held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in May 2012. We believe that our economies need to turn force. Business leaders are rethinking their business models. Green growth is the way of the future. It is time to reinvent business and it's time to improve our economy. It is time to grow forces in a global partnership for the future. The Republic of India has excelled in this area. India is the second country with the largest amount of CN clean dollar mechanism projects globally. India in this area is a leader. These projects serve, I am sure, as a wealth of knowledge for green growth and the clean development of our planet. We applaud this global leadership. With the spirit of the motto of this general summit, tackling local initiatives and tackling global energy, I think we are moving in the right direction. There is hope to reverse climate change and increase a more sustainable development. But all of us must take part and assume our individual responsibility locally in order to assume the seat of global proportions. Sustainable development must start with each person, one by one. Only citizen by citizen will we advance towards a more sustainable development. As I have again said, be the change we want to see in the world. Thank you very much. I thank the President, Dr. Fernandez, for his important address. Uh, he explains to us the central importance of green growth and the necessity for financial support for developing countries, which is due to achieving green growth, in order to enable them to achieve green growth. And he gave us the excellent example of the Dominican Republic and the achievement of this regard. I now have the honor to request his excellent statement.